guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be talking about the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Trios that they released for their 2011 collection. I'm very, very, very excited to tell you guys about these trios because I'm actually able to get this video for you guys up as early as possible, unlike the holiday palettes where I kind of got it up a little bit late, so I know some people weren't able to get their hands on those palettes but these trios just came out very very recently I don't know the exact day but um you know it didn't it didn't come out more than a week ago so you still have a very good chance of finding these in your local drugstore so Wet n Wild released six new trios as part of their Color Icon line. This is what the trios look like for those of you guys who have never seen any of the trios before. They are labeled Brow Bone, Crease, and Eyelid on all of the trios. Um, you don't obviously have to use them the way they're labeled, but it's a nice guideline for those of you guys who are new to makeup. Now once again, Wet n Wild has not confirmed whether these are limited edition or whether they're not limited edition. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to assume that they are limited edition and you guys need to get them as soon as possible. And if it turns out that they're not limited edition, then that's just a bonus. Now before I get started, I actually had a subscriber ask me if I could wear purple lip color on camera because she wanted to see how it looked. So I am wearing purple lip color right now. This is flaunting it from the uh, MAC Peacocky collection and first impressions of those uh, lip colors, they are amazing. The kissable lip colors are awesome they go on so smoothly they are not sticky at all they feel like a lip balm literally they feel like a lip balm but they have opaque coverage they don't settle into fine lines at least the one I'm wearing which once again is called flaunting it doesn't settle into fine lines and I love the way it looks so this is my purple lip color for those of you guys who wanted to see how it looked on me anyways back to wet and wild I'm going to be going through all six of the palettes and um, doing swatches for you guys so before I do that I just want to let you guys know that these palettes are available at Walgreens and at Rite Aid um, I know some people who are really iffy about Rite Aid but I found them at my local Rite Aid I know a lot of people who found them at Walgreens though so if you don't have a Rite Aid near you you, you might be able to find it at Walgreens. However, I do know that at Walgreens, these trios are $2.99 a piece, and um, they have a very, very limited selection of them. Because they're on a weird aisle and cap thing, just like the holiday palettes were, they only have two of each of the shades per store. So if you want to get all six, like I was searching for all six, you might have a hard time finding them at Walgreens. However, at Rite Aid, the palettes are only $1.99 each, so that's a dollar cheaper than Walgreens. And um, Rite Aid has these palettes in the normal display section where they normally put out all their new displays, and they have three of each shade per store. So I would say you have a better chance at finding it at a Rite Aid if you have a Rite Aid near you and um, because they have more of each palette per store and they're cheaper. So I would go to Rite Aid if you have a Rite Aid. Okay, now let's go through the palettes. These are going to be in no particular order. Just as I grab them, I'll go through them. So the first one is this one and this is called I Dream of Greeny. So here's what I Dream of Greeny looks like. Um, down here there was a sponge tip applicator and one of those little brush things that come with all of the Wet n Wild Color Icon products. But I just popped those out and pretty much tossed them because I don't use those and they just tend to get in the way for me. But um, anyways, in this palette you get a light, minty, sort of a seafoam green, a medium, sort of jade turquoisey green I guess and then a medium lime green and here are those just swiped through one time just swatched on my fingers you can see they're fairly pigmented not the greatest pigmentation especially on the lightest shade but um, it's not terrible and then here those three are swatched on the back of my hand no primer no base just the eyeshadows on bare skin um, my favorite definitely has to be the the darkest green in the palette and then I like the lime green and then the lightest green is my third favorite out of this palette. I probably wouldn't wear this palette as a whole just the way they say it because 
I feel like it's a lot of green on the eye at once. You definitely could if you were into that kind of look, but it's just not something I would personally wear. Then the next palette is this one. This is called I'm Feeling Retro. And here are the colors you get in I'm Feeling Retro. Up at the top, you get just sort of a light shimmery white color. Then you get a medium sort of navy blue kind of a color. And then at the bottom, you get sort of a purpley pink fuchsia color. And here those three are just swatched one time on my fingers. This bottom shade really, really reminds me of Max Stars and Rockets eyeshadow. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty similar to me. And here those are swatched on the back of my hand. No primer, no base, just the eyeshadows. The blue one is definitely my favorite out of this palette. But this pink one, like I said, really reminds me of Stars and Rockets because it does have that iridescence to it. And then, of course, you have the off-white. Now, I don't know if I would use this, once again, as a trio in itself. I might try it out because it's not all one. It's not monochromatic. It has a couple different colors, so it might be fun to try it, try it together. Um, but, yeah, this is definitely a pretty palette. Not the greatest pigmentation, once again, but it's not bad at all. The next palette we have is this one, and this is called Spoiled Brat. Ugh, the names on these are just so funny. So here are the shades you have in Spoiled Brat. Up at the top, you have just a medium silver color. Then you have, like, a black with some shimmer in it, some, like, silver and iridescent shimmer. And um, then you have like a bright hot pink. Here are those three swatched on my fingers. I can just tell that the silver is going to be my favorite. It just seems like it's the most pigmented one. And here those three are swatched. The silver is by far my favorite. The black is okay. Not the greatest black I feel Wet n Wild has come out with, but it's not terrible. It'll work for deepening out a crease. And the pink is interesting. It's not super pigmented, but it's still pink. It's definitely buildable. And it's not a color you typically see in drugstore eyeshadows so I like it the next trio we have is this one and this is called I got good jeans and this is what I got good jeans looks like so up at the top you have like a light silvery blue color then you have a dark navy blue then you have a really pretty sort of dirty gold color and here those three are on my fingers oh my gosh these three are by far the most pigmented ones that I've swatched so far and here those three are swatched. Oh yeah, these are definitely the most pigmented ones I've swatched so far. I love this whole palette. Um, the gold is gorgeous, and this silvery blue is even more gorgeous, and this navy blue is stunning. This is a really, really, really good all-around palette. Definitely love this one. The next palette in this collection is this one, and this is called I'm Getting Sunburned. And this is what I'm Getting Sunburned looks like. Up at the top, you have a light pink. Then you have a darkish brown, and then you have a really pretty dirty gold. And here are those three swatched on my fingers. Okay, this is now my favorite palette. This beats I Got Good Jeans by a long shot. This middle color is unbelievable. And here those three are swatched on my hand. Do you see this middle color, guys? I didn't want to wipe it off my finger so I can show you, but just look at how much is still left on there. Like, this is unbelievably pigmented like I could probably do a whole other swatch let's try like oh my gosh like oh my gosh okay I totally just messed up the pink swatch sorry about that um anyways so you have the pink the brown and the gold this is amazing 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 Get this palette just for this color. It's amazing. Then for the last palette in this collection, it is this one. This is called Silent Treatment. And these are the colors in Silent Treatment. I'm actually wearing Silent Treatment on my eyes right now. If you guys were wondering what's on my eyes, it is actually this trio. And... I think it looks amazing. It is only this trio and nothing but this trio, and I love it. So in this trio, you're getting like a really, really light pinky white color, um, a really dark bronzy taupey color, and this is like a straight up taupey gray shade. It's gorgeous. Here are those three colors swatched on my fingers. You can see they're super, super pretty. I love this trio. And here those three are swatched on the back of my hand. You can see that the swatches didn't show up super well, but when you use them on your eye in practice, they turn out looking really amazing. Um, my favorite is definitely this taupey color. You can't see it too well on the camera, 
but it's so pretty. Definitely love the taupey color. Then this dark brown is really, really nice as well. And the light color is really nice as well. This whole trio is really, really pretty. My overall thoughts on these trios is they are stunning, amazing, absolutely incredible. Actually, when I bought these, Rite Aid was having a buy one, get one 50% off of all Wet n Wild products. So I actually ended up getting all six of these trios for less than $10. Yeah. That was basically a steal. I pretty much just stole these palettes right out of the store. I did amazing. I'm so happy with the deal I got. And these are amazing. 50 times better than the holiday palettes. I didn't get back to you on the holiday palettes. But I just have to say, they're good. They're not great. The pigmentation on some of them is okay. But pretty much the pigmentation on all of these is way better than the holiday palettes. If you missed out on the holiday palettes, don't be sad at all. Just go get these. These are so amazing. Now I'm just going to go through the palettes from my least favorite to my most favorite. Just so you guys know if you guys were only willing to get a couple of them. Which ones I personally recommend. Not only by color selection but also by the pigmentation and the swatching ability of them. Um, the first one which was an okay palette. Not terribly my favorite. Especially because of the color selection. Was I Dream of Greeny. I probably wouldn't wear all three of these greens together. But they are very pretty greens. The next one, which is my second OK favorite, didn't swatch amazing, but it's still a good palette overall. Um, it's I'm Feeling Retro. Once again, not my favorite, but it's not bad either. Then my third favorite, uh, or sorry, my third least favorite would probably have to be this one, Spoiled Brat. And it's a good palette. I like it a lot, but the black kind of disappointed me a little bit. Um, oh gosh, then my next, I'm trying to choose out of these three that are left. Hold on, this one's going to be a thinker. Okay, I got it. My third favorite palette is going to be I Got Good Jeans. This is a very pretty palette. I definitely recommend it. Swatches amazingly. I do really love it. My second favorite palette will be Silent Treatment. I love Silent Treatment. Um, I love the way it looks on my eyes. I think it gives an amazing look. Definitely recommend it, but the one that beats it is definitely I'm Getting Sunburned, and that's mostly because of this medium brown. That brown is the most pigmented color out of all of these palettes. Um, I mean, this color is the most pigmented one out of the whole thing. It's amazingly pigmented, so definitely recommend I'm Getting Sunburned, like, just for that brown, but the gold and the pink are very pretty, too, so, yeah. Great palettes. Overall, Wet n Wild hit it out of the park. I'm very, very impressed. I can't wait to see what else they have to offer later on this year. I know that very soon they're coming out with eight pan color icon palettes that are actually part of the permanent line. So those will not be limited edition. There are three different shades. Um, I will put a link to a blog post down there if you guys are curious about those palettes. Um, she is a Wet n Wild ambassador. It's from nuevocheap.blogspot.com, I believe. Um, the person who runs this blog is actually the first Wet n Wild ambassador and she gets to try out all of the Wet n Wild items before they hit stores and um, pretty much before anybody else. So she has done swatches and reviewed all of these trios as well as the 8 pan palettes if you guys are curious about those because I was very curious about them. And I will link that exact blog post down there for you guys. Definitely recommend checking it out. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Two thumbs up for the Wet n Wild Color Icon trios. Very, very good. Wet n Wild did amazing with these trios. Go check them out. Go to your local Rite Aid, Walgreens. I heard they might be releasing at Walmart, but I'm not sure because I haven't seen them at Walmart. Um, but yeah, go check them out. I love them. So that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think of these palettes. If you've picked them up already or you're going to pick them up, let me know which ones you're going to get. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.